going on guys? Hey, we got something a little bit different today. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a tutorial, if you will, on how to clean your bowling ball. All right, something a lot different for what we typically would have on this channel, but something really important if you're trying to keep your game consistent and strong out there in the lanes. For me, tomorrow, I've got a doubles tournament with one of my best friends in the world. Uh, we've been bowling a ton lately, trying to make sure we can get some of that moolah, that sweet, sweet cash. We're going to be bowling tomorrow at a house shot tournament. We're going to be bowling four games, take the best out of those four games, but I need to clean my balls if I want to be ready for this. So, ball that I'm using, uh, primarily tomorrow is probably going to be this Black Widow 2.0. Uh, when I was growing up bowling in the youth leagues, uh, always wanted the Black Widow. It was one of the hottest balls back in the mid-2000s. Uh, now that I've got this ball in its, uh, well, I can't really even say second form because they made so many Widows. But, uh, now that I've got kind of the recreation of this ball, now that Hammer's under Brunswick, uh, we've got to get this thing cleaned up if it wants to perform at this house shot tournament. So, what we're going to do, for any of the higher performance balls from Hammer, um, or really, any uh, any company that you're going to bowl with on any line. Uh, if you got a reactive ball, a lot of companies are trending towards this sort of gel type cleaner. With Hammer brand, it's going to be this Hammer Tough Scrub ball cleaner. So here's what you're going to do, guys. You're going to take some of this Tough Scrub. You're going to put some on your microfiber cloth, maybe just like a quarter size uh, dab on there, right? So we're going to put some of that on there, nice and easy, just kind of in the shape of a quarter there. And we're just going to start to kind of rub this all along this ball, right? You just want to make sure that we're cleaning um, everywhere we can. What this tough scrub's going to do versus like a, like a spray is this tough scrub's really going to dig into the cover stock and try to get all the little things out of there more so than a spray and just general toweling would do. Um, and what it also does is it provides kind of some extra grip on this ball, right? And so what we're going to end up with is a sticky finish. Uh, on this ball. It feels like it's just going to be stuck to your hand. You're just going to be able to hold the ball in your hand upside down. It's never even going to fall out because it's so tacky. And what that's going to do is next time you go to bowl, this thing's going to grip up and then you're going to be able to bowl in pretty much any oil condition you want. Um, now, obviously, if you're on a lane already that suffers from burn or just suffers from too much overall hook, you might want to consider just using a pearlized ball in general. So you might not want to use a solid ball like Black Widow, but um, for bowlers that are bowling in tournaments, typically you're going to be bowling on some sport patterns. And so you want to make sure that you're cleaning your ball off really well. For me, you can already hear when I'm touching the ball, we're getting a lot of that tack on this ball already. So that's what you want to see. Now that we've cleaned our primary tank reactive ball, or even a couple of balls, you know, typically when I go to a tournament or to my league, I've got kind of that tank solid ball. I've got kind of that pearlized ball to start getting that hook once it's uh, once that burn starts to set in, you're starting to lose a little bit of oil. You want to get a ball that's going to go down a little bit further to create you more angle on that head pin um, so that you can hit it right there in that pocket and start striking more. Um, so when my Black Widow starts hooking too early, that's where I'd switch to that pearlized ball. But for the point of this video um, today, we're going to be cleaning off my spare ball. I'm using the Hammer Tough. Uh, it's a polyurethane ball. It gives me just a couple boards of hook if I wanted it. Um, typically I don't, I just want to be able to hit a pen pin with this. But I'm not going to be using that tough scrub cleaner on this, right? Because I really don't want this ball to be super tack. So what I'm going to do is just use a general all-purpose cleaner. For Hammer, they call it their Remove All Ball Cleaner. Okay, so nice and easy. What I typically do with this, everybody kind of does it differently, right? Um, when I'm actually bowling, uh, I'm not cleaning my ball for the USB-C rules. But what I'm doing is I'm just using that chamois to get the oil off. But for today's purposes, we're going to be using the ball cleaner. Just give it some sprays right on the ball, just like that. Take your towel and you're just going to give it, just give it a little rub down, right? You just want to be taking the oil off that ball, off the surface, so that it's clean, so that it lasts a long time. The benefits of cleaning aren't just performance on the lanes. It's also ensuring that your ball is going to last a long time for you, so you can use it for years and years uh, before you got to just spend a bunch more money, hundreds of dollars, on new balls, and bada bing, bada boom, balls are clean, ready for the tournament this weekend. So, guys, something a little different. Let me know if you like this, and um, have a Mayo Day.